It's time to take to the skies, Outlander, introducing the newest and best way to travel by glorious verticality-inducing airship. Why walk when you can fly? Soar above the train at top ballooning speeds. Safely explore Morrowind without getting bogged down with all those pesky nick sounds and kaguti. Why, yes, with an airship you can truly travel in the lap of luxury. Uh, wait a minute. Is that Cliff Racer attacking us? Shoo, shoo, go away, leave me alone. Ah, flying high, it does nothing. Oh, oh no, there's more of them bloody swarms of Cliff Racers. Back, back, you vile fiends. Oh right, I, I, I'm starting to see why air travel just never really took off in Morrowind. Shoo, shoo, stop attacking my ship, we're going down. And uh, that brings me to today's Mod of the Day, which uh, today is Your Marshi and the Visage of Muzond by Team Provincial Privateers, composed of Devshaw, Mojo187, MWGeck, Tanakatil, and... <sighs> Jack him off, whack him off. Every time I'm forced to say that name, a part of my soul withers and dies. But uh, anyway, uh, as you may have gathered from that introduction, uh, this mod adds a flying airship for you the pilot and command to the game. But uh, that's hardly all it does. In fact, that airship is actually your final reward for completing a variety of quests. Uh, going on expeditions to various parts of the world and uncovering an untold number of ancient relics. It all begins when you meet your Marshi, a, a antiquity thief, uh, I mean an archaeologist, or excuse me, as I should say, an independent archaeologist, uh, living in Plesian. Uh, she needs just a, a bit of help gathering components for her uh, Dwim airship, a, a new flying contraption that you can actually find uh, being worked on just uh, down in her uh, basement workshop with a variety of Dwim artifacts and, you know, other bits and bombs just uh, scattered around. Uh, to begin with, uh, you'll need to steal a control rod from the Cedanine Census and Excise Office, but, uh, you know, after that fairly simple fetch quest, uh, you'll be tasked with going on an assortment of uh, far more exciting expeditions, uh, taking you to ancient ruins, uh, delving through perilous dungeon depths, uncovering lost and forgotten tombs with untold treasures, and uh, fighting off rival wannabe antiquity thieves. Uh, uh, you know, sorry, sorry, I mean rival archaeologists. And uh, much more as you help your machine just, you know, slowly gather components and put together an airship. And uh, there, there, there really is just quite a lot of variety with these new locations that you'll be sent to. From Nordic Barrows to Daedric Shrines, Velothi Tombs, and Dwemer Ruins. Uh, most of which have just been built as extensions to, you know, to existing vanilla locations, just in a way that ensures you know, compatibility with most other mods. And uh, these new dungeons, uh, while not large, are just all beautifully and atmospherically detailed. Just, you know, each location feels unique and distinct, uh, giving you the thrill of coming through ancient buried ruins and discovering hidden treasures, allowing you to just, you know, to live out your fantasies of being an archaeologist adventurer. Why, yes, these artifacts belong in a museum. And that museum is my loot sack. Visiting hours are from the time I open my loot sack to the time I dump out the contents on the counter of a pawn shop. But uh, anyway, anyway, you know, jokes aside, uh, while the adventure here just uh, isn't terribly long, you know, especially compared to some of the other mods that, you know, we've already showcased for this year's Madness competition, I, I, I mean, this whole series of quests and delving through various ancient ruins and tombs will, you know, maybe just take you a couple of hours to play through. Uh, you know, if you're just doing a straight run through the mod. Uh, but regardless of all that, uh, th this is honestly just a really fun and entertaining uh, series of dungeon dubbing quests, with a few puzzles, lots of hidden loot, and uh, plenty of discoveries that, you know, will make uh, finally unlocking the airship at the end just all the more worthwhile. Uh, and indeed, indeed, while, while the dungeons and adventures are just, you know, a really just fun time, uh, at, at the end of the day, the airship is, you know, really the star of the show. Your very own airship that you can use to fly the skies above Morrowind, with a rather compact but uh, convenient a little cozy cabin for you to, you know, store your loot, with a bed for you to use and just, you know, some rather atmospheric little details. Uh, now you can travel across Morrowind, uh, taking the airship, the Seracon Rain, uh, with you as both your means of transport uh, and your own little home away from home. 
And uh, honestly, the, the, the controls here are just really satisfying. It, it is just an absolute pleasure to fly high above Morrowind's landscapes, uh, landing at locations of interest, and then taking off again to just go on uh, some new adventure. Uh, the controls here are just uh, pretty intuitive. Uh, you can tap the forward key to go faster, or the back key to go slower. With a number of just, you know, different speeds that you can accelerate to, just, you know, giving you a fast way to fly around Morrowind. Uh, but uh, not so fast that, you know, it's cane breaking or anything. Uh, you can also increase or decrease your elevation by shift clicking the forward or backward key. You know, allowing you to maximize your ship's verticality. Uh, and of course, uh, you can just you can disembark uh, once you're just close enough to the ground or at some other surface by hitting the Q key, uh, parking your ship and allowing you to then enter the cabin or you know just uh, go about your business around town. I just I really just I cannot overstate just how much fun it is to you know to fly around in your own airship. It, it's really just an absolute blast. And it's also just really cool with, you know, mods like Vapor Mist, uh, allowing you to fly above or even through uh, banks of clouds, obscuring the landscape and uh, making it so that, you know, you might just have to dip down to a lower elevation to get your bearings. Uh, I spent just, uh, I spent quite a bit of time just flying around the landscape of Morrowind in the Seracon rain, and it's honestly just a pretty breathtaking experience and a great way to spot locations that, you know, you haven't been to before. Uh, and of course, uh, you could even just, you know, fly the server to Terry Built and just, you know, explore those lands in a, you know, in a way that you haven't done before. And like, imagine just, you know, flying around in your airship around the, the Tower of Old Evanhoft, or just, you know, taking your airship to the new lands of the Dominion to Dust. I mean, there's just a lot of great verticality in the landscape there, and that would just be a great way to just, uh, you know, to uh, venture into this new territory that uh, the Terry Built team has just released. Uh, or you could just, you know, have a bit of fun uh, flying to different cities on Rodenfell. Uh, you know, maybe trawling that poor fellow outside the Mages Guild in Aldrune. Hey, sorry, uh, what's that, mate? Uh, you're, you're looking for an airship? Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, sorry, haven't seen any. Or uh, maybe flying to Vivek and uh, landing just in the middle of a Canton Plaza. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, ordinators, uh, is there free parking here? Do you guys validate? Or you could just, you know, fly to uh, any of the numerous new locations added by the other mons from the 2022 Madness Competition, at like La Odai, or, you know, the various shipyards of Ardenfell. Uh, maybe even just, you know, disembarking from your airship to uh, go on some new adventure aboard your cargo ship or longboat. Uh, again, again, this year's Madness Competition has just been truly amazing. I, I, I mean, we've had some just truly beautiful vistas of verticality. Marvelous dungeons, a, a whole new real-time sailing mechanic with ships you can, you know, actually pilot, and now an airship mod allowing you to just ply the skies. Uh, truly, we have been blessed with a veritable bounty of modding goodies. And uh, for a team of Madness newbies, the Provincial Privateers has just, you know, certainly impressed. Uh, you know, I, I have to say, a, a modern MWC Lua airship mod is not something I realized I wanted before, but uh, now, you know, I, I just, I cannot imagine playing the game without it. Uh, and of course, you know, there's also the quests, the dungeons, a, a really neat uh, door mask, and just uh, so much more to make this a really fun, you know, mod to check out. But uh, anyway, that's just, uh, that's from all the day, so uh, as always, uh, I've been your host, Dark Elf Guy, uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, uh, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time.